use it too. Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy, So Real Five Hundred. Call her live. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahshua Hamashiach, Brock it up. All praises to the Most High. One third and the one for the first time. Go get up in her seat. What we're talking about today is. What we're talking about today is. We are talking about. The Bible. Ezekiel chapter 3. We're going to read a couple of things. We're going to read a couple of things. Because time is running out. Time is running out. And you got to watch. The Bible, the Bible tells you to watch. Be a watchman over the sheep, the lost tribe of Israel. That's what Matthew 15, 24 say. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Yahweh uses his son, Yahshua, to, grow, to go through people spiritual now, not fleshly, spiritual, to gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, it's our job to tell you right from wrong. Let me say that again. It's our job. It's my job. It's your job to tell me right from wrong. We got to look out for each other. If I seen a car coming and I didn't tell you that car was coming and you got hit, that that's on me. That's on me. But if I told you a car was coming and you looked but didn't get out of the way, and that's on you. If I told you a car was coming, 
and you get out the way, you get to live to see another day. Think about that. I'm going to read out of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. Let me stroll. Let me see. Verse 17 and on down. Listen. Learn something. <clears throat> Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. First of all, he says, Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. No other house but the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and give them warning from me. So God's telling you to go warn the people for him. Understand this. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou giveth him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked ways. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Meaning, if I seen you sinning, if I seen you out here sinning, you, you finna eat pork. You finna celebrate holidays. Pagan holidays. You are having an evil eye towards your brother. You're cursing your parents out. You, you, you talking bad about people. You doing this, you doing that. If I do not warn you that God told you not to do that, God forbid that, and you die in your sins, then when you die, I'm the watchman. I'm supposed to warn you. But if you die and I didn't warn you, that means that when you die, your blood will be on my hands. So I'm going to get in trouble for what you did because I didn't warn you. Let's go to 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked ways, he shall surely, he shall die in his iniquity. Salaki. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Now, if you about to sin, commit adultery, fornicate, Lie, steal, kill, breaking the commandments, and I warn you, and you still choose to sin, if you die in your sins, that means the watchman, I, me, have delivered my soul. Why? Because I warned you, but you didn't listen, nor did you have an ear. Hold on one
All right, y'all, I'm back, man. I had to go discipline some people, you know. But, all right, so did, so did y'all get what verse 19 said? It said, yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked ways, he shall die in his iniquity. I mean, he's going to die in his sins. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So if I warn you, and you do not turn from your wicked ways, or your wickedness, or from your wicked ways, let me, I have delivered my soul because I warned you, but you chose not to listen. I warned you, but you didn't want to do right when it was time to do right. The Bible says he didn't have an ear, let him hear. Hearing me understanding. Because I can say anything. I can blah, 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 blah. You heard me. But you did not understand what I said. You have to have the uh, you have to have the spirit of Yahweh to interpret the scriptures. Let's move down to 20. Again, when a righteous man doeth not, I mean, I'm, 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 so like you, so like you. Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness, that means when a righteous man turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, I lay a stumbling block before him. A stumbling block is difficulty, difficultiness and um, hesitant. Hesitation. I'm going to say hesitation. I lay a stumbling block before him. He shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sins and his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Think about that. If you are a righteous man, let me, say, let, me, let me say me for instance. I'm a righteous man. What is righteousness? Doing the commandment. Seeking after Yahweh. Doing the law. Living like Yah Yahshua and Yahweh. To the best of our ability. Now, if I turn away from righteousness, meaning I'm going back and willfully sinning after I heard the truth, and I'd be like, nah, I don't want to do it no more. I want to go back. I want to celebrate holidays. I want to eat pork. I want to curse my mother out. I want to steal. I want to kill. I want to serve other gods. If I choose to do that, Yahweh is going to lay a stumbling block, which means it's going to be difficult and hard for me. And I'm going to hesitate every time I want to come back into the truth. Every time I want to get back righteous again, he's going to lay a stumbling block which means it's going to be difficult every time for me to come back to righteousness. That's why he said when you come back, when you're in the sin and you leave out this, when, you, when, you, when you're in the truth and you leave out the truth and go back into sin, you get seven more spirit, spirits that on you that's wicked than the first spirit. So now you got eight spirits on you. That's hard to come back, hard to get off because you chose to go back into sin on your own free will. Then the Bible say. I set before you life and death, good and evil, choose good, so you can live. He put your food, he, he cooked the food and put it in the light. You know where the food at. It's up to you to eat. He said, he shall die. And he, look, watch, watch, watch this. It say, and his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. So you can have five or ten years of righteousness, right? You can have five or ten years of righteousness. And guess what? Just because you wanted to go sin for a couple of days or, or two weeks or three weeks or you walk back into sin for a month, willfully sinning, all your years of righteousness will not be remembered just because you wanted to sin for a whole month. Is it worth it? The Bible said what? Prophet or man they gain the whole world, but lose his own soul. You want to celebrate holidays. You want to eat pork. You want all the women. You want all the money. You want all the riches of this world. Understand that this world is going to perish. He's going to set this earth on fire. 
and he's going to make a new heaven and earth. And every righteous person that did the commandment, that's followed the laws, statutes, commandments, is going to be on that new earth. But you won't be there. 21 say, Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous man sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live because he is warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. So the whole ultimate, the whole ultimate root of this conversation is this right here. If you want to live when Yahweh come back and destroy this world, you have to do righteousness. You have to teach righteousness. You have to warn the wicked. Warn the righteous. You just can't warn the wicked. You got to warn the righteous too. Because the righteous can fall back into sin too. You got to warn the righteous and you got to warn the wicked. That's how you make it. That's how you live. What is what is life? By doing good, by Yahweh law, statutes, and commandments. I can't just sit here and just know that you finna, your child finna cross the street. Your child don't know. You feel me? Your child finna cross the street and the truck finna come by and I don't warn the child or attempt to save the child life. I feel bad if, if, if something happened to that child. It's like when you when it's like this, when you when you're babysitting, your cousin or your nephews and nieces or anybody, your sisters and bro your brothers or whatever, if you're babysitting, and your mama leave, and dad leave, and say, I want you to watch these kids and you know make sure they don't get into this, make sure they don't get into that, and you do something that you don't don't supposed to do, and you stop watching them, and something happened to your brother and sister, you gonna feel bad. Look at it in a spiritual form. We must keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to live. So if I see you out there doing wrong, and I know to do right, don't think for once that I'm going I'm I'm to keep my mouth closed. I'm going to open my mouth, and I'm going to warn you, because if I don't, your blood going to be on my hands, and y'all are going to judge me for your sins just because I didn't warn you. Think about that, y'all. If y'all have any questions, y'all can contact my elder, elder yourself. Check the website out. Um, NCCI. We on Facebook. We on YouTube. And he got his own website. NCCI. You can, um, he got his number. He got his, um, his, his church numbers and stuff. If you, if you have any questions, you can go to him and talk to him about it. I recommend y'all get yourselves right before it's too late. Everybody say they love everybody, right? Or they love God. But you don't love God if you don't know what God love is. I can say I love you, right? But what is love? How you treat somebody and your action. So God said this in the Bible. I think it's John 14 to 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. It also says, if you love me and the children of Israel, who is the children of Israel? God's people. You will keep my commandments. It's the same thing. God love is keeping the commandments. So you must be keeping the commandments to show God and show your people that you love them. If you're not, if you've been together with uh, with somebody for twenty plus years, forty plus years, and you never kept the commandment, was it really love, or was it just lust? Think about that, because love is keeping the commandments. So you say you're in love with somebody, that means you must be keeping the commandments, right? You say you love me, that means you must be keeping the commandments, right? I can love my brother, my sisters, and not have no lust in my eyes, not have a desire to be with them. I love you because I'm keeping the commandments. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So if I'm not doing something I know is wrong, I'm going to teach you 
not to do it. This world is going to burn in fervent heat. Souls will be burnt up for not keeping the law. Two thirds of this world will be destroyed and only one third will make it. That's my time. My name is Ottawan Baniasha. I'm better known as So Real 500. You can catch me on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook at So Real 500. That's S O R E A L 500. That's my time. Shalom.